American-born Mila Clark was so morbidly obese that she was widely referred to as the heaviest woman in the world. But you won't believe how she looks now. When Mila was born some 54 years ago in Fayetteville, Tennessee, neither of her parents had any inkling that their daughter would go on to win the undisputed world heavyweight title as the heaviest woman in the world. But what caused Mila's morbid obesity, you must already be wondering. The answer is very simple. Food. According to Mila, her mom never hugged or kissed her, but gave her lots of food. In an interview, Mila said, Food was my mother's warmth to me, so I just ate everything I was given, and I just wanted more and more. In other words, food was the only way Mila's mom knew how to show her daughter's love. So Mila ate everything that was given to her, and even her little sister's shares. Just to earn her mother's love and praise, Mila basically ate more than necessary. That was how Mila began her unhealthy relationship with food. A habit, or rather an addiction that persisted until adulthood. But Mila's mom, Mary Everson, once explained that she just wanted to give her daughters what she lacked while growing up. According to Mary, I do sometimes blame myself a little bit for the way she is, but at that time I thought it was fine that she ate that much because when I was growing up I lacked a lot. I never got to eat what I wanted. I was always hungry and sad. So I promised myself that I would never let my kids experience that. By the time Mila entered high school, she weighed a whopping 259 pounds. As expected, such massive weight made her an easy target for bullies who called her all sorts of ugly names imaginable. They ceaselessly taunted and made fun of her. Most of Mila's classmates avoided her like a plague, and they made her feel like an outsider just because of her massive weight. Hence, Mila only had a handful of friends during her school days. By the time Mila finished high school, her weight stood at an astonishing 350 pounds. In fact, Mila was so overweight that she couldn't even fit into her graduation gown. But like they say, there's a man for every woman and a woman for every man. And for Mila, it was Elroy Asau Clark, a man she met shortly after graduating from high school. After their chance meeting, the two got talking and they started getting to know each other better. And boom, the two started dating. Over time, their love kept growing by leaps and bounds. The lovebirds were literally inseparable. Elroy didn't seem to mind a bit about Mila's extra-large weight. He simply loved and accepted her the way she was. Elroy was madly in love with Mila, and that was that. Whether his friends and family liked it or not, Elroy even once said in a show that when he met Mila, her weight about 350 pounds at that time was never really a problem for him. As for Mila, she said of Elroy, I was so in love with Elroy that I forgot I was fat for a minute. Soon, much to the utter shock of many Mila's naysayers, who all strongly believed that she would never be able to get married with her obesity, Elroy and Mila tied the knot together, just a few years after meeting each other. In Mila's words about her marriage, she said, I think everyone was surprised when I got married to Elroy. Because I was so fat, they probably thought that no one would want something that big. Because by that time, I was well over 400 pounds. Despite her astonishing weight, Mila soon gave birth to her first son, Esau. After the birth of their first son, the couple wished to have more children. But the doctors advised them that it would be too risky for Mila to get pregnant again at over 500 pounds. So the couple were forced to resort to adoption. They eventually ended up adopting four kids, whose parents had some form of mental or drug addiction issues. Mila's obesity really made life very miserable for her. She was immobile for more than 13 years, just lying in a bed eating and sleeping. To her, it felt like she was trapped in her own body and wanted out, but her body caged her even more as she continued gaining weight. At one point, Mila even weighed an astonishing 751 pounds. She couldn't even get out of bed to start with. Mila's bed and room were her only world for more than a decade. In fact, Mila was totally unable to perform any normal everyday activity. Standing up was a terrible experience for her, as the effort alone always left her in pains and agony due to a three-stone lymphedema, which is a swelling on her leg which began to develop when she was 40 years old. Mila's husband, Elroy, was battling some health issues of his own, so Mila had to rely on her five children to look after her like a newborn baby. The five kids did everything for her. I mean everything even down to bathing her right there on her bed. What a difficult situation to be in. But here from Mila herself, every single day of my life was miserable. I was trapped on my bed for years. All I could do was eat and sleep. It was such a humiliating thing. Children their age shouldn't have to take care of their parents. 
Mila came into limelight in 2016 when she was featured in the fourth season of a popular US TV series called My 600 Pound Life. Mila was 47 years old then and weighed a whopping 751 pounds. The popular show is an American reality television series that has aired on the TLC television network since 2012. Each episode follows a year in the life of morbidly obese individuals, who usually begin the episode weighing at at least 600 pounds or 270 kilograms and document their efforts to reduce their weight to a healthy level. Update episodes, called Where Are They Now?, feature one or more previous patients picking up a year or more after their original episodes aired. The patients are assigned to renowned Iranian-American Houston-based bariatric surgeon and weight loss expert Dr. Yuna Nauzaradan, also known as Dr. Now. The patients try to lose weight on their own by following a planned diet approved by Dr. Now. Depending on their success, that is if they are able to shed the required weight, Dr. Now may then recommend gastric bypass surgery or sleeve gastrectomy to help them shed off even more weight. Eventually, Mila made up her mind and was solidly determined to help herself by shedding as much weight as possible, even if it would require her going under the knife. She chronicled her weight loss journey in the second season of the TLC special series, My 600 Pound Life, Where Are They Now? Most people, whether obese or just attempting to shed off weight for whatever reasons, have probably found out that shedding just a few pounds is not all games and fun at all. Intentional weight loss is not for the faint-hearted. It is quite a difficult and demanding task to say the least. But for Mila, who weighed an incredible 751 pounds when she started her weight-shedding journey, the mountain she had to climb to get to her desired weight was even much greater than you can ever imagine. In fact, the journey that lay ahead for Mila to reach her target weight was akin to Mila crossing the proverbial seven mountains and seven seas. Mila's remarkable transformation began in earnest when she sought the help of Dr. Now. The weight loss expert doctor placed Mila on a weight loss program. Mila and her five children had to move from their home city of Fayetteville, Tennessee to Houston, Texas, where Dr. Now was based, so she could fully start the weight loss program that Dr. Now had in store for her. Through following a very rigid diet change, Mila was able to shed 100 pounds in just a few months. This first major success made her eligible for the next step, which was a surgery to have her painful lymphedema removed. The surgery, which was both recommended and performed by Dr. Now, was successful, and it removed the further 43 pounds from Mila's body. Dr. Now's next goal for Mila was to get her out of her bed so she could qualify for a major weight loss surgery. However, Mila was afraid of falling so she saw a therapist to help her with standing. After a year, Mila was able to stand for a moment to get weighed. She had lost 153 pounds in total and weighed 598.8 pounds, which encouraged Dr. Now to recommend her for weight loss surgery. But tragedy soon struck for Mila, as her beloved Elroy died just two months into the filming of her follow-up episode, leaving Mila a grieving widow struggling to stick to her weight loss goals while mourning the sudden death of her beloved husband. Elroy had a minor vein repair surgery, but after the surgery, he developed a serious infection. He then had a heart attack, and it took so long for him to be resuscitated that he eventually passed away aged 54 in December 2016. The children went to say their final goodbyes to their dying father, but Mila was unable to do so because of her immobility. Mila was not only saddened and heartbroken by the loss of her beloved husband and lifelong partner, her grief was compounded by the fact that her obesity had prevented her from visiting him at the hospital and being there for her husband when he needed her the most. It must have been a really gloomy and depressing period for Mila. After her husband's death, Mila informed Dr. Now that she wouldn't be able to go along with the weight loss surgery as planned because she just couldn't think of leaving her children alone. Mila's decision was also based on the fact that she was really worried and scared that a high-risk procedure, such as weight loss surgery, could leave her kids without any parent if she were to die from the surgery's complications. But two years later, Dr. Now suggested bariatric surgery to Mila. She finally agreed to the surgery, and Dr. Now performed a gastric sleeve procedure on her. At that point, Mila had lost a total of 274 pounds and weighed 477 pounds. In March 2019, Mila revealed in an interview that she quit Dr. Now's program because she was still unable to stand after the weight loss surgery he had performed on her. 
After quitting the program, Mila and her children moved back to Tennessee against Dr. Now's wish, except her first son, Esau, who stayed back in Houston because he had built a life for himself there. Back home in Tennessee, it seemed like it was back to square one for Mila, and that all her previous efforts to lose weight had all been in vain, and her children became her caretakers again. However, after a few months, Mila eventually decided to go back to complete Dr. Now's program. But this time, she followed up on the program from Tennessee instead of having to move over to Houston. Some few months after Mila returned to his program, Dr. Now approved and performed a second skin removal on Mila in order to help her stand and walk on her own. He removed an incredible 47 pounds of skin from her lower abdomen. Mila was separated from her children for two months because she had to stay in Houston for the surgery. But after the very successful skin removal surgery was over and done with, Mila surprised her kids when she came back home, walking with a walker after more than a decade of total immobility. Her kids were so happy for their mother's gradual but sure progress. In a June 2019 episode of My 600 Pound Life, Where Are They Now?, Mila revealed that she also had a knee replacement surgery. The surgery was to help her walk on her own. After the very successful knee replacement surgery, Mila was not only able to walk again, she could then walk without her walker, which was a really amazing feat for her and a life-changing event. By then, Mila had drastically reduced her weight down to 172 pounds, but she wasn't out of the woods yet. As doctor now approved and performed yet another skin removal surgery on Mila, to remove hanging skin from her arms. However, that would be her very last skin removal surgery. After three years of dedication, ups and downs, doubts, several surgeries, and even the tragedy of her husband's sudden death, Mila reached her target weight of 155 pounds, having lost an incredible 42 stone. With her enormous weight gone for good, Mila can now participate in trekking, running, hiking, swimming, canoeing, among other numerous physically straining activities which she could only dream of prior to going on a weight loss journey. With her newfound confidence, it didn't even take too long before Mila found a new lover, James. The lovebirds met on a dating platform. According to Mila, she once unexpectedly took all her kids on a date with James, just to clearly show him how important those kids were to her. According to the information on Mila's Facebook page, the lovebirds are still together till date. Mila is currently active on different social media platforms and has kept fans updated about her remarkable weight loss journey. Mila's pictures clearly proves beyond all reasonable doubt that she has been able to keep her weight down for good. She even currently drives and goes out to different fun places with her children and her partner James. At the end of her My 600 Pound Life episodes, Mila had lost an unbelievable 596 pounds in just three years. She now weighs 155 pounds. Mila has one of the most inspiring and captivating My 600 Pound Life success stories so far, and she has clearly managed to sustain her healthy lifestyle. Viewers are still very much baffled and puzzled by Mila's success story. With her mobility completely restored, Mila is now staying in great shape through a healthy diet and healthy lifestyle, which includes enough exercises. Mila's Instagram, proudly entitled at Mila 600 Pound Journey, is a testament to the success of her weight loss. Mila has now left her obesity and numerous surgeries well behind her and is now living like an absolute queen, complete with a weight loss that most people had thought was impossible. Mila appears to be a new woman in her recent Instagram images following her incredible success. Even though Mila currently follows a strict diet, old habits never die easy, they say. So she had admitted to snacking on olives, crackers and tuna fish, which she does enjoy once in a while. Anyone who sees Mila's before and after photos will be amazed. Mila's efforts on social media have been applauded by a number of admirers. I'm now watching your narrative and I'm really proud of you, one person exclaimed in the comments section of one of her posts. I've been following your journey and I believe you're incredible. In your new life, I wish you much love and happiness, said another. At the end of the show, Mila's children said that they were very proud of their mother's amazing transformation. It was also revealed at the end of the show that Dr. Now, who had been like a messiah sent to Mila from heaven to help her achieve her weight-shedding dreams, even gave her a big and well-deserving hug after she won her battle with morbid obesity. What do you think of Mila's remarkable weight loss journey? Did you find it inspiring? And if you were in her shoes, would you have undergone all that she went through just to achieve your target weight? Feel free to share your comments with us in the comment section. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.